Hi guys, and welcome to my WWE Battleground reaction video. So, yeah, uh, before I start this video, let me just clarify. Um, why did I get so many dislikes in my last video? Um, I'm, just, I'm just clarifying. I mean, what did I do wrong? If anyone can ask me, if anyone can comment, and they'll just go, oh, you shit, you shouldn't be doing reaction videos. Don't, don't do that, please. I don't like hate my videos. But, yeah, it got like five dislikes. What was that about, guys? Was it, was it the music in the background? Was it just... Me being too oh, but like that. <laughs> that's that. Well, if you don't like that, that's me. So you can f off and find another reaction video channel. <laughs> but yeah, um, come on, guys. It's just five dislikes. I don't, come on, that wasn't that bad, was it? <laughs> Whatever. Um, on on to the on to my video now. So yeah, battleground last night. Um, it was what a. Uh, it was just it wasn't very good, was it? It wasn't terrible. I've certainly seen worse pay-per-views, but it wasn't brilliant either. It, it, oh, it had some really, really bad finishes, and yeah, so... Car. <laughs> so yeah, uh, let's get on to the pre-show. We had Aiden English, he beat Ty Dillinger clean in about eight, eight minutes. Uh, okay, <laughs> Aiden English won a match clean against Ty Dillinger, fair enough. Um, I've got nothing else to say. Decent. I'm sure there'll be something else maybe on SmackDown Live, but yeah, whatever. Um, then we start off the show, we got a pretty decent match. We got The New Day beating The Usos for the WWE Raw SmackDown Tag Team Championships. Yeah, that was, that was pretty... It was, these were probably the best night, best match of the night. Um, yeah, really, I mean, these two had a really good match at uh, Money in the Bank. And, these, and then this was another... This one topped it, I think. Really, really solid match. It went on for like 14 minutes, I think. And uh, yeah, there was lots of false finishes. Um, I think these two, you can tell these two teams have got really, really good good chemistry, and this was continued here. Although I didn't like the New Day winning, I really would have rather seen the Usos retain and then the Usos lose at SummerSlam. Really, I really would have rather seen them have one more successful title defense. But still, it was a great match. Um, the New Day they were getting booked like superheroes in this match. They were superhero booking. I mean, I, I mean, what was it? The Usos hit like three finishes on Xavier Woods, and they just kept kicking out. And I was like, what is going on? That's three kickouts now. Crazy, and um, yeah, and then yeah, then they then the um, Xavier Woods gets one amazing elbow done. I was like an elbow, one one elbow. After all the kicking up they've done, one one elbow beats the Usos. Kind of makes the Usos look a little bit weak, but whatever. It was probably the best match of the night. Best. It was a great start to the show, but then it just went woo down from there. Um, yeah. Great match, and the New Day are now the SmackDown Tag Team Champions. Hopefully, they won't have it as long as they had the Raw Tag Team Champions, you know, over a year. So let's see what happens at SummerSlam. Then we had Nakamura going up against Baron Corbin. Yes, um, not great. Uh, all, all I can say, it was only 12 minutes long. 12 minutes? Come on, these two could have put on a longer match than that. Um, and yeah, Nakamura, he's not looking great in the main roster so far, is he? I mean, he had a pretty bang average match against Dolph Ziggler at Backlash. He looked alright at Money in the Bank, you know, he had some good things there, but this was just this was just as bang average as it gets. They're not making him look very good at all. I mean, if if no if not many people watched NXT or New Japan, they'd be going, Who is Nakamura? I mean, this guy's just he's got a cool entrance and a cool gimmick, but as a wrestler, he's not they're not making they're not making him showcase what how good he can be. That we saw in NXT and and New Japan. Yeah, and the end. The ending was weird. Um, Cor Corbin wins via disqualification with a low blow, I think. And then so um, Nakamura won by disqualification. I was like, what? So why couldn't they just have Nakamura win? I mean, they need to keep him looking strong. I mean, I assume they're going to have something big for him at SummerSlam, hopefully. And and Corbin could have took this loss. You know, he's the money in the bank holder. Even though I predicted Corbin was going to win. But yeah, the money in the bank holders do lose a lot, don't they? So yeah, this finish was just this weird finish, and oh, there was more weird finishes to come. But yeah, not great. Hopefully, Corbin and Nakamura go on to bigger things. Corbin can cash in at SummerSlam, and Nakamura can have a, a much better match at SummerSlam, definitely. And then we had the women's Fatal Five Way Elimination Match. Yeah, um, between Natalia, Lana, Tamina, Becky Lynch, and <laughs> Becky Lynch, and Charlotte. And um, it was all right. Um, it was it could have been a longer. It was only like. It was only like 11 minutes. Um, this could have been at least 15, 16 minutes at least. Um, and yeah, the, the only eliminations were a bit weak. Some of them were just way too quick and fast. Uh, I do like how Becky Lynch just lasted. Oh, she's my favourite to win. Um, I do like how she lasted quite long. She got rid of uh, Lana and Tamina with that little um, driver she does. Well, that submission she does. But yeah, the f finish was weird. Natalia won. Natalia! What? She's like the least relevant woman on the SmackDown women's roster. I mean, again, I know she's she's Owen Hart's sister. 
I, I don't know. I don't know what she is. How, how, someone tell me how she's related to Owen Hart. I mean, Bret Hart, sorry. Um, yeah, um, okay. So we're going to get Natalia against Naomi at SummerSlam. That's not really a big money match, is it? I would rather have seen Charlotte or Becky Lynch, my fave. But yeah, I guess not. Um, okay. If they can make this entirely look good in this feud, but we all know, we all know Carmella's going to cash in at SummerSlam. It's obvious, so I don't really care about this feud, since Carmella's obviously going to be cashing in at SummerSlam. Yeah, so whatever. Really would have rather have seen Becky, but whatever. Natalia, let's see what she can do in this feud, because we all know she's she can be good. And then we got Kevin Owens um, up against AJ Styles. Yes. Um, so... Yeah, this this has been weird. Kevin Owens has been on a weird ride, hasn't he? he, he let me get this straight. He beat Jericho at Mania for the US Championship, and he lost it. Hang on. Then he lost it, and no, then he lost it at Payback. Yep, he lost it at Payback. Then he won it back at, after Payback, like the, the SmackDown Live after Payback, and then he lost it again at, at a house show to AJ Styles, and now he's won it back again at, at Battleground. What? This is bonkers! What are they doing with Kevin Owens with the US? So this the um uh, yeah. So obviously this AJ beat Kevin Owens at a house show, Madison Square Garden. This was the rematch, and yeah, it was it was okay. It was 17 minutes long. The, but these two can put in a better match. We all know it was just like the backlash match, really. The, we know how good these two can be. These two can put in an amazing match. But yeah, the, this was yet again just a just okay. It wasn't wasn't terrible, but it wasn't brilliant. Like we know these two can can be. Um, and yet the finish was weird. Another weird finish. Basically, Kevin Owens throws the ref at AJ. Then he does a weird roll-up pin or something. And the ref just one, two, three. And Kevin... Uh, and that was it. Um, I'm, I'm confused. Why? Why? <laughs> why give it back to Kevin Owens? Why couldn't they just keep... A uh, why couldn't they just let AJ keep hold of it and have an epic title defence at SummerSlam? Maybe they're going for a third and final match at SummerSlam, which hopefully these two can finally have a great match, because we know they both can, because the matches that they've had at Backlash and Battleground were, were just okay, they weren't great, so hopefully the match they can have, if they're going to have a rematch um, at SummerSlam, it can, be, it can be really, really up there, definitely. But yeah, really weird finish, and these two can put a bit better match, definitely. Then we got John Cena going up against Rusev in the flag match. Yeah, weird stipulation. Basically, I got I got it wrong. They don't go to the other corner. They take the flag and they go down to the entrance and they put it in the stand next to the uh, the runabout, the turnabout. And yeah, it was okay. I mean, I think this is probably the second best match of the night, apart from the tag team. I enjoyed it. You know, both of these guys have been away for so long and now they're finally back in a match. Um, basically, it was just a rerun of their feud they had two years ago. You know, I'm the evil foreigner. John Cena's the patriotic American. You know, that was that was the feud basically. Um, and yeah, of course, John Cena won, but it was like 20, it was 20 minutes, you know, had some good spots. And um, the table spot near the end of the AA through the ladder, that was, a ladder through the tables was great. Um, and yeah, basically Cena wins, <laughs> put the flag down with Rusev just lying right beneath it. So you got America conquers Bulgaria. Uh, yeah, okay, whatever. I liked it. We all know John Cena was going to win. Poor, poor Rusev, though. he deserves better. Hopefully he can, he'll get better at SummerSlam. Um, and maybe John Cena will go on to face Jinder Mahal. At SummerSlam, maybe. <laughs> God. Um, yeah, whatever. And then we got Sami Zayn. Um, this doesn't match out of nowhere. Sami Zayn up against Mike Kanellis. Um, okay, my boy Sami. You all know how bad he's been booked lately. Um, put well, lately for last, last over over a year. Um, and yeah, he won. He won in eight minutes. It was with a clean finish. Good. Sami got a pay per view win. Mir miracles can happen. So give this guy a push. Come on. I'm fed up of how they're booking Sami Zayn. This guy, this guy is so fucking talented, and they'll do nothing with him. So, from he better get something good at SummerSlam and scrap this awful feud with the with the Canellas people. Canellas people, <laughs> yeah. So whatever. And then we got the main event, the Punjabi prison match, and uh, yeah, it, I was looking forward to it, but pay off. Oh, it wasn't great, was it? It was pretty boring. It was so slow. Oh, God, this match went nearly 30 effing minutes. 30 minutes! And it... Oh, it was so boring. <laughs> it was just... Oh, they were just climbing... Open all the four doors, we get open and shut again. Like, it was, like, it was at least four minutes there. And there was so much faffing around outside of it. I mean, there were, there were some good spots here and there. Where Randy was just whacking them. 
with the bamboo sticks and Jinder with, with the steel chair. And of course, with um, one of the Singh brothers getting thrown off the top of the of the uh, prison right into the announce table. That was awesome. But uh, and then it just it was just too it was too slow and too long. It was very similar to uh, Shane and under 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 the Undertaker at WrestleMania 32. That's what it reminded me of. It was just too slow and too long. And the, the crowd were dead for most of this match. I mean, I don't blame them because unlike us, we were watching on the TV monitor. They were all sat, sat in the audience just watching this giant, trying to watch the match through two wooden structures. They couldn't barely see the wrestlers. So the crowd was so dead for a lot of the match. There was even a, a CM Punk chant, I think. <laughs> um, but the finish, we got, so Randy's about to climb out. He's about, he's, he's had the match won. He's, he's winning. But then, out comes the great Kali. <laughs> The great Carly! He's back! Uh, yeah, I did not see that coming at all. He just walks out and he strangles Randy, holding him on top of it so he can't get out. And then Jinder's like, yeah, yeah, he just climbs out. And then Jinder and the great Carly are like, yeah, holding up the belt at the end. I'm like, so is the great Carly back or is this just a one off? Is he back? If so, oh god. Because let's face it, I he was one of the worst wrestlers in WWE. The guy, he's one of the worst wrestlers in WWE history. Look everywhere. No, he, he can't, the guy can't wrestle. Yeah, he's, he's seven foot two, but that's all he's got going for him. And yeah, oh, I don't think anyone's happy to see him back. I mean, he, he got a bit of a pop when he came out, but the great Carly. Right? So what, what are they going to do with him now? With him, uh, him and Randy going to have a match at SummerSlam? What? <laughs> so yeah, that was Battleground. It, it, it was... Okay, it was it wasn't great. It wasn't great. Probably one of the weakest one of the weakest pay per views of the year. I wouldn't say the weakest. I think it's I think Payback and maybe Fastlane was the weakest. But apart from but this is definitely up up there. It wasn't great. Um, hopefully they can they can rectify all this and start giving us proper finishes. There were too many too many poor finishes in this pay per view. Um, Nakamura and Corbin rubbish finish. Natalia winning okay. Um, the rubbish finish with Kevin Owens and AJ. Um, yeah, and, and the and a, a ridiculously boring final match with Jinder and Randy, which I was looking forward to originally, but yeah, the match they had at um, Money in the Bank was a, lot, was a lot better and a lot more quicker paced. So, yeah, I assume this is the end of Randa, Randy, Randa, Randa Mahal, <laughs> Randy and Jinder's feud now. I assume Randy's going to go and fight the Great Carly to get his revenge at SummerSlam. Oh, match of the year right there. <laughs> and Jinder, maybe he'll go on to face John Cena, which then, do 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 Baron Corbin catches in. Oh, yeah, guys, so thank you for watching. Now, I won't be back for a while now because the next pay per view is SummerSlam. Woohoo! But that isn't for another about three and a half weeks, SummerSlam. So, yeah, my, I will do a reaction video in about a, re a prediction video for SummerSlam in about about a week and a half, two weeks for when you know, most, most of the matches have been announced. So, yeah, guys, um, thank you for watching, and I'll be back in a week or two for my SummerSlam prediction video. Thank you, guys. Bye.